great pleasure and honor to have Professor Robert Petrokovnikov from MIT, who is going to talk about stability conditions and representation theory. <coughs> uh, thanks. Um, thanks for the invitation to give this talk. It's a pleasure to be here. So, um, uh, happy to speak at a workshop uh, which has a very German gender presentation theory in the title. And in the area I work in, um, Famous spectacular applications of algebraic geometry to representation theory, and uh, I think it's time to sort of take back. So, so I think representation theory should be applied to algebraic geometry, and uh, part of what I will talk about and attempt to continue with that. Um, uh, we'll see. Okay, so um, I will start with uh, recording the concept of written stability condition. So I will not uh, so this is some uh, concept, some definition that Tom Richard <coughs> came up with uh, uh, inspired by a of physicists. And so uh, it's the setup is something like this. So C is a triangulated category, so in our case it would be Category. And so uh, this will be a much more close field. And uh, there are some finest conditions, so in practice, uh, C will be uh, the uh, of X axis of the There are different ways to think about it. And 
So, uh, uh, yes, if M is not zero object, but somehow getting this uh, strange addition ingredient one can make uh, a logical space which is not so I will uh, just give one example which is not relevant to me and so it's also Zero, but if the characteristic is positive, it has to be large. Uh, and so Z is, of course, the dream which is zero. Is <coughs> so in this case, Story uh, gamma uh, subgroups in S of two are present twice. I think you graphs to which one simply I think you graphs such graph you can assign the corresponding algebra to the kind of system so that So, so this topological space, so the topology in the space has defined, so the map to, to the CS is a type or something like this? It is kind of by definition, it is a uh, uh, continuous, and uh, there is a non trivial theorem which has that, says that it's a local, under some condition that it's a local isomorphism on the subspace or the tool space. But, but how do you define the general theorem about the existing the early stages? But, but how do you define the topology on this set? Uh, yeah, so that's a good question. So, is it defined by this condition that you just said that uh, the map is, or is it? A, it's a no, theorem. It's a theorem. It's not a definition. has to do with. Uh, uh, yeah, let's talk about stable objects. Ah. Basically, there were stable objects, and then uh, part of the concentration. And basically, uh, an object is stable in a given stability condition, and then it varies a little bit. And actually, it's harder than missing concentration in the solar system. So, uh, yes, so this is, uh, you have a, uh, uh, so, so, so yes, so, so you have a T star, which is just H2 of X. Um, let's say, complex. Uh, 
topology, say this, and then you have um, uh, geez, the, the zero, so the complement to get find for root So it is expected to be the universal covering, uh, but I think uh, I don't think it's known. So this, um, so there is a, there is a break, a fine break of action, and uh, <coughs> this covering being universal is equivalent to this action being faithful. And, uh, so there are papers which check that the action of the usual break. So maybe you can start from there. I don't think. Or maybe I don't know. So uh, yes, yeah, expected to be. And are there other components? I think in type A there is a. I think it's also in spec that there are no other components. So in type A there's a theorem. So let me uh, mention an important structure. So, uh, so there's a fine break of action. Fine. And it adds. Well, it adds on the universal covering by direct transformation. Also, it's ex competitive of this kind. By what? In the pi one? Uh, oh, so so there is a group of symmetries, just a group of reflections generated by. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <coughs> so yes. If I don't do this, it's like pure breaking, but it's better to do this. <coughs> and uh, so yeah, so this I call it. So, so it's a P1 sitting in a symplectic surface, and the structure shape of such a line, HP1, okay. uh, this line is an injection of simple rules of the algebra. So, but the point is that the structure shape of this line is a, what's called a spherical object. So there was something called a reflection to spherical object, and so I just want to say that this is the very nature of categorification of just the hyperplane reflections. So if you have a lattice and you have a lens to vector, then you have 
question? Same thing. Yeah, yeah, that's the point. So uh, the, uh, the general formula is that uh, you get uh, minus, uh, <coughs> minus x v, and then you have a factor of v, v, two. No, two that, that's the way. Two, two over v. <coughs> But if it's a two vector, then it's cancelled. Mm -hmm. So you get this nice formula, which can be uh, So, uh, uh, and yes, yeah, so, 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 so the action of the affine is generated by this spherical twist. to uh, talk about the utilization of this result. So, so um, ah, maybe uh, one other thing about this point. So, um, well, uh, Uh, I just want to mention this is something rather explicit, so uh, I just uh, <coughs> talk about the definition and give us an answer. But so you can ask what uh, corresponds to some point uh, in the universal topic. So I take a point, a radical point, a real point, something else of a lifted universal covering, and what kind of structure corresponds to it. And the answer is that <coughs> uh, to here, so S Structure just is just the orbital T structure. So uh, there is this equivalence which was uh, well documented in the 90s. So this is T before C, uh, before X is <coughs> equivalent to derived category of coherent sheaves of gamma one two. Minimal means minimal non zero, and I want to take maximum non regular. So, sub regular. To the sub regular. <coughs> Now 
now we can take. So now we can take. Well, y. Now we can slice to any. So I start with a semi-simple algebra. Mm -hmm. I fix an important orbit, mm -hmm. uh, and then I take a slice to the transfer slice to the orbit. There is this uh, people. There is a preferred choice, but actually it doesn't matter. There are some people thought of a slice, which is a specific way to write down the slice. So I get some class of so so in, in Pilot's talk you mentioned uh, symplectic singularity, so this is a class of and B, so uh, so there is a, a explicit subset. Uh, 
So we get a somewhat weaker statement, but um, contains interesting examples. Yeah, just a second. So what is T? T, t is the torus or uh, yes. contents of algebra? Yes. And T0 is the, uh, the affine, uh, a complement of the affine arrangement. That's right. Uh, is U so is, we, uh, we want to... Yeah. So U is an open subset there, or...? Yes. So it's an... Um, it's a neighborhood of, yeah, maybe I should say that you can, uh, can it contains the real points, and it's in some neighborhood of uh, the real points. But the uh, uh, real points in the uh, regular locus is disjoint union of alpha, so uh, that's, so basically there's a neighborhood of the alphas and some connect. Yeah. But uh, what, uh, didn't you say that pi 1 of t0 star is just, ah, this is pure B of 5. Yeah. Uh -huh. And yeah, it's also double. And the covering of u tilde of that set. Yes. B of 5. Can you give an example and describe what this set you is? Uh, there is no point in it. There is nothing <coughs> particularly interesting about the specific uh, set, and I don't the formulas. But, but basically, basically, it's, one of but basically it's uh, uh, let me say so. Basically, it's as I said. So you have the alpha, so you take some neighbor of each alpha, and then you connect, connect them. But what we um, what would be Better is uh, to have a neighborhood of the real locus and then intersect it with uh, the regular So, so but somehow we avoid we have to avoid the neighborhoods of co dimension two or higher faces. There, there the kind of technical technical definition of prison that can becomes not adequate to our goal. So, so let me, I, I don't want to... So this group is too big, yeah? Uh, you, uh, you want the group to... is too big, yeah, because it somehow has the right generators, but you have the relations uh -huh. that But ideally, what should this group be? It should be a nice... It should be, yeah, it should be common. Uh. Uh, so... Uh, Um, yeah, so I don't want to spend too much time on it because I want to focus on one thing, but just to mention here we also define So does this theorem say that uh, this uh, complex manifold doesn't depend too much on the orbit? Yes, the complex manifold doesn't depend. It shouldn't depend at all on the orbit. Yeah, or should be the no, I'm not saying that the full stability manifold, but this is this component. It's not a component, it's uh, uh, just a piece. So my understanding is that maybe, uh, you know, so the stability manifold has roughly the size of full cohomology, and then there is uh, this has the size of second. <coughs> ah, so U tilde is not an open set inside yes. step. Yeah, it is not. Uh, 
so yeah, so this it's is a what this is called locally closed subset. Yes, that's what uh, people. Uh, this called the thin string of the string in micro space. Ah. Okay, so uh, well, um, so let me not uh, remember. So uh, what's important is the following that. Uh, so, but to S, you know, in an Alcov, in this, uh, the real part, and then yeah, so S is still uh, so, so I said that this is this is U and what has lifted to tilt. And so we have some distortion of S. So uh, the point I want to mention is that A power S uh, is important in our presentation theory. Namely, uh, what do you mean by this? So the destructure is basically a name for specifying an abelian category inside the tree. Which is asking uh, to spell out the abbreviation RT. Ah, representation theory. <laughs> and then, oh, inters. Oh, I see. What you saying? <laughs> of representation theory, basically. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, Yeah, there's a new definition like, which saying, I, uh, I mean, I think if I... Like, are you saying you have some destruction of your central charge? Like, like what do you mean? Well, we may define a new concept. Okay. Which is related to, but different from... But isn't you still have central charge and... You still charge. have central charge and destruction, right? Okay. Right. Yes, but the... Excellent. But is it the other map? Something else. This is something different. Yeah. Okay. So I'm happy to talk about it, but I think if I explain it now, then I'll okay. Take okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So um. So this is the uh, medium part. Of, uh, <coughs> yes. Yeah. 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 And so yeah. So I don't know what you make this uh, precise. And uh, so if you um. So 
vicious uh, base. It's paper with my former student Shambin, but uh, based on uh, uh, the work of Frank. representations of uh, quantum group of group of unity. Uh, and uh, also with the specified condition. And again for the experts this is that's the continuing quantum Yeah, so the mark that I want to make here So first, um, that the central charge this representation of theoretic realizations, the central charge also has a uh, meaning. Namely, uh, so in realization one, in one, the central charge is related to just dimension. To be more precise, I'm slightly more precise, uh, it's uh, actually equal, so Make these things independent of P, and then the following expression will make sense. Then, uh, <coughs> mention of the uh, and then the should, if it will depend on P, you should uh, divide by appropriate power by P to the D for appropriate D, and then the step it will exist. And uh, so a question that But you can also define such limit for the roots of unity case, right? Yes, yes. In three, it should be similar formula in such a case. But it's not clear what is the analog of this for a fine art, for a critical girl. Yeah. I frankly haven't uh, seriously tried it. Uh, I know. So, so in the remaining time, I want to talk about some further conjectures. 
uh, which um, uh, in which this. Uh, so basically, uh, I want to pass from this uh, slices and from the fibers, which is just this. I want to pass to a fine Springer fibers and related uh, questions about kitchen space and geometric islands that will be uh, mostly exclusively conducted. So, um, but to uh, make this transition, I want to uh, make this remark, and so um, just kind of the origin of these ideas uh, is that. So I'm a little bit confused. So is it all values of z are going to be real positive here. So I was talking specifically about, and as I said, I'm specifically looking at the point oh. in a real point. Ah. So maybe in the affine case, you should look at the model of the Joule algebra that uh, corresponds to it and look at the dimension of support or something like this? Yes. Okay, so... Um, um, yeah, so, so I just want to say that uh, uh, this BFI action, so uh, as I said, so BFI here, Action uh, on the K group factors through the affine well group. So recall that uh, it's affine, but it also maps to the Hinkel, to the affine Hinkel. And uh, if I just uh, pass to the cross the group of C, then uh, the action here is really fine, but if I Enrich it a little bit, and if I write, you know, C invariant to be, so we have a this direction coming from the Jackson Morris of uh, theory of uh, time. Uh, so, 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 the, the, these are the so called co conical uh, syntactic similarities. Solutions. So we have, like in this example that I started from, going to the plane, you know, we have dilation action on H. And you have some such action in, in all these cases. And uh, uh, so the action on the K group of the invariant, basically, it factors through the and in fact, it was first studied by Kartan Lustig and Gensburg in this context. Star. No, the X is uh, before X was this uh, resolution. Y was a slice, and X was a picture of slice. Ah. And C was uh, shapes. Yes. Okay. So, um, and their motivation was the following: that the representations of the shape fine is uh, something that people. Uh, called 
I guess if I'm to be consistent, I should here say that this is the final answer. And so, so uh, classified such representations is a uh, subject of dependence duality. And then corresponding the uh, the This action is, belongs to geometric geometry. There are various connections in particular. This can be thought of as a special case for some general approach of trying to get to geometric angles, etc. Et so, um, uh, so this uh, motivates the is uh, in the dual the but the idea is that we can ident identify is choosing the very new form and identifying the compound uh, with the dual button the original button we can identify the spaces of characteristic polynomials and so we say that it's a real dimension receives a map from the uh, centralized <clears throat> No, no. And the point is that this is a uh, this is always an idea. Yeah. So this is a regular detail is a regular, a regular. simple because this is an abelian but this is a ah. And I will look at the image and even I will take a small and so let's see bar of E. We need the maximum also. 
productive part of the image. So this is essentially <coughs> it's a thorough space, some kind. Yeah, I see. But it is there is uh, arbitrary thing I didn't get. It. Generic. 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 Okay. okay. I'm now registered the conjecture, but the uh, problem in this conjecture that I'm putting all the definition of the data was this occurrence, but if you reach it, I don't really know if you should want to decide. So the conjecture is that. So I can uh, take, uh, so I have the sketching here, C, and I uh, now take uh, uh, C prime is something very close to C. So this is okay, so C prime was uh, the derived category of the huge sheets on the uh, uh, or X, which was the resolution of the slice to the orbit of E, supported on the spring in prime, right? okay. But now I'll just uh, add equivalence with respect to this. And so, so conjecture is that uh, the time is equivalent to the behavior of micro-local sheaves on the corresponding defined spring defined frames. So this is a e to the e to the L. What is mu sorry? Yeah, so this is micro-local sheaves. So, if, yes, I will... Uh, oh, okay. It's something like this that you have to uh, have to think of this as sitting as a Lagrangian thing somewhere, and then think of uh, the uh, brain support on this Lagrangian, whatever this means, or you can point those over appropriate quantization to support it there, whatever this means. But in particular, uh, so example is that if you have a smooth component, then to this component there should be a corresponding object, so that it self is the cohomology, and if you have two smooth components, it's module of intersection. So is it like D modules? Uh, on what? Well, it's, yeah, modules. If, if, yes, if this was a smooth. No, if this was a Lagrangian, in a, if this was a conic Lagrangian, Tension, this would be kind of D modules on the base. Micro, micro support is this. But then, okay, so um, in this case, it's not, it kind of sits in the cotangent bundle, maybe not as a conical way, and uh, then this can be used as one of the ways to uh, approach defining this. Uh, and, uh, and so, well, uh, but it is not correct to consider G modules just on this F. No, no, this is no, no, no. So let me give you an example. <laughs> but if it were smooth, then we could embed it as a zero section of its own convergent bundle. No, no, this was smooth. And this. But the point, of course, is yeah. Well, this is a union. Uh, and so, okay, so if I. Uh, so, if uh, you take non-generic lifting of E, yeah, big uh, kind of centralized, that means uh, it degenerates somehow? Or what happens? No, I mean, then it will be just, I mean, the idea is that as long as it's generic, this kind of string to fiber uh, doesn't change essentially. But if you go to non-generic lifting. Well, then it jumps. It jumps, yes, okay. But the category shrinks. The category shrinks, yeah. Invariant. No, no. Covariant shrinks. No, no. Okay. no. So, so this is this is the I mean, this is definition, but this is a definition. So let me give you an example. So let's say uh, G is a CLM and E is subregular. Okay. So this is the example we already considered. So this uh, the Z just looks as uh, well, I was drawing it this way, so it's not so, so it's uh, like this sausage link, so there's a bunch of uh, so how does the uh, clock looks like? I actually uh, didn't quite explain this, but 
uh, I, I, I said that, you know, then some derived case you have mentioned on the fine gray group, and I mentioned some spherical objects, but I could actually mention one other spherical object. So we have, in, so TB crop of X actually contains, so, so these are n minus 1 lines. So if I, you still remember what I was talking about, but in the beginning, you have this n minus one spherical objects. In fact, there are n spherical objects. Uh, you can, uh, well, in the case of coherent shift, there are n spherical objects which you can describe uh, uh, for example, you can, uh, if you identify this category with the orbifold, Then you just, uh, you know, gamma here is just d mod n. So you just take various uh, representations, you know, various characters of d mod n, and put it at zero, or in there all the objects. And so you see already here that they have a cyclic structure. So you have n, o a n objects, so, yeah. and uh, they will be kind of, they will interact when they're uh, next to each other on the Boson structure. Interact meaning to do it in our zero next. In the, this presentation, you can do it. Um, so in the presentation, uh, in the normalization I like, you, you, you need to take all the one pi minus one, well, and you all, and then also all of the union, the union, and yes, and so in general you take them with more. Uh, all of, of the union with some multiplicity here, which General is the maximum rule. Yeah, it's a scheme theoretic, right? Depending on the multiplicity is equal to the marks. So, um, so uh, what, what is my point? So, so if you if you um, if you uh, want to pass to a covariant category, then uh, except for type B, hmm? except for type B. Uh, then you will get this sort of wheel will get an unrolled. Unrolled, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, in uh, because uh, yeah, you'll have uh, uh, each, each of these uh, objects, uh, you can, there are C ways to make it equivalent with respect to the system. Yeah, yeah, so a C bar in this case. C star. And so, so you'll get just a, a line of uh, S1 objects. So they will look kind of topologically. Like this, but I mean, but the point is that this is exactly the fine spring of fiber. And the, so there's a centralizing this fine spring of fiber, which exactly has to be shifted by the end. So in this case, it's easy to analyze this microlocal shifts, okay, because each component is smooth, and so you get exactly this spherical object corresponding to components. And so a uh, comment just that this, yeah, should be wrapping up, but it was yet another conjecture, which is, but I do not know both and so I just make a remark, uh, so I say. Um, is that, so there's this uh, geometric Langlands business, and uh, uh, so we call geometric Langlands. So this is by now, uh, you know, common. Idea that it is, a, is a sort of mirror symmetry. For each in space, and so these are sort of local counterparts of this global condition. Maybe I don't have to say more, but uh, also. Uh, so you can also, so, so usually people talk about classical space where um, yeah, 
correspond to unramified local fragments. So literally what I was talking about corresponds to the stale unramified thing where you can see that there are bundles with a parabolic structure. And then let me just see one uh, minute talk about. So, so there is also a richer, in a way, uh, uh, a richer way you would uh, take cohe involving coherent sheaves on a fine spring fiber. Sides. Um, and um, well, so first there is a um, conjecture which uh, was uh, proposed independently by myself and Finkelberg and the physicist Christian Solina, which was talking about uh, so here we have some sort of maybe EDP. Maybe here can use convenient to, to, to use physical language, loss and hoofed operations. Yeah. But there is a equivalence between this for G and for GL. So this was made eight years ago. And so there is a um, this is some equivalence of monoidal categories which act. Uh, but uh, now it's more, more recently it was understood that there should be uh, also kinds of module categories. But uh, uh, on one side you should take given sheaves, uh, just as they are, and on the other side you take things like the area with respect to the central lines. Uh, I understand that Arinkian is working. So this is a local counterpart of what's known as classical limit of this general sequence, where you just take the huge sheets on both sides. And then I can spe speculate that, uh, well, at first, uh, that a fine version of our theory of uh, Mirko, which holds that uh, this is related to this. Is is related to uh, G F modules at the critical level, but over K of characteristic P. And also that uh, the uh, cover, so if you take now elliptic configuration of Hyperplanes and take that it's in your covering that uh, that would be related to stability of this case uh, but this yet remains to be seen. Okay, thanks. Very few questions, but the next talk is a bit of report, but any questions. So so is there anything known about this module some characteristic B? Over a level. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, not much. There are some papers. That you can do basic calculations, but yeah. Not but much. papers by who? By Stingler, Hammer, Hammer, and this is without divided powers, yeah? Do there exist the sausage links of type EA? Yes. Ah, into it. Okay. Let's start. Let's start the speaker again. Let's start the speaker again.